reusable coffee filters. I have talked about this in the past, but I figured I'd mention it again in case some of you guys do not know about this amazing item. If you are a coffee drinker and you stopped drinking coffee from the outside world like Starbucks and Dunkin' because you wanted to save yourself some extra cash, so you started to make it at home, but you're still purchasing K-cups, you still purchase in filters, you're technically not saving as much money as you think you are. You might be saving some money, don't get me wrong, but you could be saving even more money if you switch to reusable coffee filters. There's so many different kinds. Now, I personally do not drink coffee like that, but you guys know I always do my research with reusable items, and I feel like for my coffee lovers out there, but this is an item that can not only save you cash, but you can also help the environment as well. So it's less waste going to the environment. And also for my coffee lovers, if you have leftover coffee, I forgot what it's called, coffee grounds um, when you're done brewing, save those coffee grounds. You can put them inside of your plants, your plant pot or your garden outside. I used to do that when I worked in a nursing home. They would make coffee all the time in the kitchen. I would get a huge bucket save all those coffee grounds and I would use them for all of the plants I used to have in my first apartment. Obviously this plant doesn't have any coffee grounds because we don't drink coffee in this house but if we did I would be reusing those coffee grounds inside this plant pot because it has so much nutrients for your plants. So with the reusable coffee filters I'll have a couple linked down below so you guys can check out. If you cannot find your model for your coffee filter you can just search in the Amazon search bar reusable coffee filters for and you just put the model of your coffee maker I guarantee you it will pop up. Reusable pads and underwear. This is another item that I cannot stop talking about because it has changed the game for me when it came to my period each month. I used to purchase always pads, I used to purchase the Walmart pads, and it was a huge monthly bill. And also, they tax you on that, which is bull. I will say that. They tax us women on products that we really need. So I think that's another reason why you should switch to reusable period underwears or the cup or period pads because you don't really get taxed on it constantly. You buy it once and that's it. So for me, I have the brand Bam Body. They're a lot cheaper than the Thinks brand and all the other reusable underwear brands. Um, I think the quality is amazing. I've had my period underwear since 2019. They're still going strong. I use them every month on the clock and I still wash them the same exact way that I've always washed them. I'll have a video up here if you guys want to check that out on how to wash your reusable period underwear. But I highly, highly recommend reusable period items. It's a huge money saver. You don't get taxed on it all the time and it also helps the environment because pads, tampons, it's the same thing as disposable diapers. It creates a lot of unnecessary waste in the landfill. Batteries. I have had my rechargeable batteries forever. I want to say since 20, 2018, around there. There's one inside of my mic right now. I have two other ones inside of my fabric shaver. And I also had extra and I gave to my boyfriend. He uses them for everything for his job. Um, he also has a mic, so he uses it for a mic as well for the real estate agents when they want to talk about the property. So he doesn't have to constantly purchase batteries. And I will say that there are different brands. You don't have to get Amazon brand, but since this is the Amazon must have, I feel like the Amazon brand works very, very well with the rechargeable batteries. I was skeptical to purchase them because I know that Duracell has rechargeable batteries as well and it's such a well-known brand. I went with the Amazon ones. I bought AAA and AA and I'm, I'm never going back. Like it's just amazing. I have no complaints whatsoever. Like I said, they're still going strong. I record a ton of videos and the mic never dies. And obviously if it does, I'll charge the battery, wait till it's done, and put the battery back inside of the mic. Again, no waste, no spending money constantly, it's just, it's perfect. Now I believe this is only for pellets, but don't quote me on that. Milo's had pellets for his whole life, so when I did my research on pellet litter, I ended up getting the litter box to go with the pellets, which is called a Swifter box. It comes with two boxes, it comes with a bottom and a top. The top part has a bunch of holes, so when he goes pee, like the pellets will turn into sawdust, so all I have to do is take that top part, swift it around, and the sawdust will drop to the other box, and it just sits there, and it's fine. It's like completely dry. Towards the end of the week, I'll just add the rest of that 
um, sawdust into our regular garbage because I throw all our garbage once a week. Throw it in there and that's it. There's no need to put an extra bag in that litter box or in those type of litter boxes. I know it can save you time from cleaning, but I'd rather save money. No hate to anybody that puts bags in their litter boxes. Again, everybody's different. I personally just think that the Swifter litter boxes don't need a bag and you can save yourself a ton of money by not putting one in there. You can just add it to your regular garbage once a week. Reusable water balloons. This is the coolest reusable item that I have ever come across. Now, I haven't used it, but I have read the reviews and everyone seems to like it. Again, I will have a link down below like everything else in this video. There's different kinds of reusable water balloons. I'm talking about these silicone ones in particularly because I've heard a lot of good things about them. My sister is a huge, huge fan of water balloons and I have yet to mention this to her. So when I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna call her and talk to her about switching over to these because it can save you a ton of money and it can help the environment at the same time. I guess it acts just like a regular water balloon, except you don't have to throw them out. You just refill them and they can keep using them each time. So I thought that was pretty cool. And the best thing also about it is that you do not have to fill them yourself. Like when my sister does water balloons for her kids, she's constantly filling them up, tying them, and then giving them to the, to the kids because they're too little to do that themselves. With these water balloons, the kids can fill them up themselves. There's no tying it. I guess like the water balloon comes apart, like it's silicone, and you just put the water in it and they can just tighten it and that's it. It's super easy. But don't quote me on the quality or anything like that. I figured I would mention this because I know summertime just passed, but this would be a cool thing to add to your summer activities for next year. So I don't know, I just thought it was a nice product to mention to those of you that have kids and that like to do water balloon fights. Reusable nail buffer and file. I have two of these, you guys, which I'm going to talk about one at a time. Um, the first one that I have is for my nails. And I keep my nails nice and short. When I cut them, I file them regularly, like you do with a regular nail filer. And with that same file, you can actually buff out your nails to make them look super shiny, like you put a clear coat on. It, it's amazing. I've had this since 2020. It's a glass nail filer, and I'm never going back to regular nail filers. I'm never going back to purchasing nail polish, like that shine polish. This one nail filer does it all, and it, again, it's a huge money saver if you love that nice, clean, shiny look. It's one of the best self-care items I've come across in a long time. This nail filer also works great for your toes. But the second thing I wanted to mention is another filer, another glass filer for your feet, like your calluses. Now, I used to purchase um, the regular, I forgot what they're called. I'll have a picture right here of them. I used to purchase these all the time and try to shave like the extra skin off my feet. And it's expensive to keep doing that. Also, it's expensive to have pedicures all the time. So I finally came across this glass buffer. It's everything I wanted in like a foot shaver. It works so well. I have giant calluses on my big toes and they have gone down tremendously. I wish I would have taken before and after pictures because it's just insane on how different my big toes look. For those of you that are new here, again, I used to be a waitress for eight years, so I had a lot of calluses on my feet that I never took care of and I'm finally taking care of it now. This buffer alone has helped out so much much with shaving down that extra skin. And they both work the same way when you clean them, use a little bit of soap, warm water, and then lay them out to dry. And you can keep reusing them for years and years to come. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be links down below for everything that I mentioned, along with some extra links if you wanna check out my Amazon storefront. I have everything that I've ever purchased from Amazon in my storefront, including this shirt and yeah, so that'll all be linked down below if you want to check it out. I know I get a lot of questions on where's the link for your storefront. It's always down below. Before I let you go, let me know down below what is your favorite Amazon reusable item. I think for me, as of right now, has to be that foot filer. Every time I use it when I get out the shower, I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed how much skin comes off my feet. And the most insane thing about it is I don't need to buy a foot filer ever again, which is pretty cool. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video.